I found the best way to set up a modern TypeScript project for nearly any framework, front end or back end, even your database setup, and much, much more. Now, if you're like me, you'll probably like to try things and you have countless projects that you're never going to finish. But ignoring that, you also find that project setup takes time. You've got to link your front end, back end, database, authentication layer, and loads, loads more. And I also find that AI is still terrible at doing this for you. I mean, it's still recommending Create React app. Like seriously? Well, this is where Better T-Stack comes in. And no, there's no affiliation to us here at Better Stack. We certainly do like the name. We even sent a sponsorship to show our love for the project. So you're now watching Better Stack, looking at Better T-Stack, sponsored by Better Stack. Let's see how it works. Now, my favorite place to use Better T-Stack is from their website, but don't worry if you're a terminal only person, all you need to do is run this command and you can get to their CLI. But I really like the website. It is really nicely designed. If we head over to the Builder tab, this is where you get to scaffold out your project. You can see the idea here is you'll select from all of these different options and it's going to take all of those options and build you a scaffolded project where you just copy this single command and you get it all set up for you. There's no more dealing with four different CLIs that you need to use, a load of different init commands and jumping between the documentation to see how the pieces integrate. It's literally just one command. Let's scaffold out our project then so we can take a look at all of the options that Better T-Stack has as there is absolutely tons of them. For the web front end, you can see you can choose pretty much any modern framework, whether that's a React one, a Vue one, or even on Solid. I'm gonna leave this on TanStack Router. Then for the native front end, you can choose to have React Native set up for you. In this case, I'm gonna leave it on no native front end. You can see here it has React Native plus Native Win and also Uni Stars. Then you can choose if you want a backend. If you just want the front end, you can select the no backend option. But in my case, I'm gonna leave this on Hono as I absolutely love that. You can see you can also use the app router, convex, and loads more. Then for the runtime, this is actually the runtime for the backend. In my case, I love running Hono on Bun, so I'm going to leave that on Bun. Seems like Better T-Stack actually has some really good defaults. Then you get to choose an API layer, so TRPC or ORPC. Here I'm actually going to choose ORPC. And if you want to know why I love ORPC, we actually made a video on this. So go ahead and watch that and subscribe to stay up to date in the world of development. After this, we can check out a database. So in this case, there's no database. I'm actually going to set up a Postgres database. Then we can choose our ORM between Drizzle and Prisma. I'm going to choose Drizzle. Then to actually set up your database, you have a few options like Terso, Superbase. I'm going to leave this on Docker so we just have a local database. Then on the web deploy, I'm going to leave this on no deployment. You can see there's Cloudflare workers. For auth, I'm going to continue using the better stack and I'll choose better auth. Then in the package manager, I always use Bun. Finally, we get to the add-on section down here. And this is where you can choose a few nice to haves. In my case, I love Ultrasight. We also made a video on that. And I'll also leave Turbo Repo on as well. As you'll see in a bit, that is super helpful. Finally, down here, you can see there are some example apps that you can choose from. So a to-do example and an AI example. In my case, I'm going to leave this on default and also have it set up a Git repository for me and install the dependencies. So there we go. That is all of the options that you can get with Better T-Stack. You can see you can really just pick and choose from here and configure out the dream scaffolded project that you want. So you can just jump right into coding straight away. Now, all I need to do is literally copy this command, go over to my terminal and hit enter. Before I do that though, one final thing I know about the website is if you want a fun game to play, you can go ahead and hit this random option here and then try building out an app with this stack. I don't know, let me know if that sounds fun to you. Over in the terminal with my command pasted in, all I need to do is hit enter. As you can see, it loads up the better T-Stack CLI. It shows us all of the options that we picked from our flags. As I said, you can actually run this without all of these flags and then you can choose all of those options in the terminal itself. But since we did it with the flags, we can see all of the options that we selected here. And down here, it's actually setting up Ultrasight. This is a really nice thing about better T-Stack. When you select a tool that has a CLI setup process, it's also going to take you through that. So I need to configure Ultrasight before we move on. I'm gonna choose a VS Code here. Then I'll also choose Cursor and Claude in here. Once it's done that, you can see Ultrasight was set up successfully. And then it says our project template is successfully scaffolded, dependencies installed. And then down here, it shows us our next steps. So we have to go into the project repo, run bun dev. And then it also shows us the database commands that we need. Since I selected Docker, we need to use it and also apply our schemas. So with that, you can see we can reproduce this setup with the same command and the project was created in 30 seconds. Now, if you were to try and scaffold all of that out yourself, I can guarantee you this would take a lot longer than 30 seconds. Now, I went ahead and ran those Docker commands and pushed everything up. So now all we need to do is run bun dev. It literally took like 20 seconds, by the way, to launch those Docker commands and everything worked flawlessly. Now when we run bun dev, you can see our web development output here. So we've got Locos 3001, but then we're also using Turbo Repo here. So you get a really nice terminal UI. You can see in the sidebar there, we can actually have our tasks. And if I use the arrow keys, I can go down and see the server terminal. So I can see the output of that. Just a really nice way to manage a mono repo. And I actually didn't know that Turbo Repo had this CLI feature. 
Opening up the website, you can see that everything appears to be working. We just have a nice template application with a better T-Stack logo. And then it also tells us that it can connect to the API. So it's nice to know that's working. Now I did ask for better auth, so I'm really curious if this here is going to work. I'll just use some sample data and I definitely didn't just put password as the password. If I click sign up, you can see that the sign up was successful. If I click sign in and then put in the same information and hit sign in, you can see, there we go, we are logged in, we have a dashboard, it's showing us that it can load in our username, and then it also shows us it can load in some private data that I imagine is protected by an auth route. So it's super cool that that is already working out of the box. We've already got authentication set up and working with my database, the front end, and the API. Finally, for those of you curious, this is what the project structure is going to look like when you use better T-Stack. Firstly, we have Turbo Repo, as I mentioned earlier, that's running the Mono Repo. So you can see up here in apps, we have the server application and also the web one. I can also see that Biome's been set up and that's coming from Ultrasight. So I know that's also been installed correctly. Inside of the web, this is just a TanStack application. You can see we have our source folder, then we have our routes like the dashboard index and login that we saw earlier. Then in the server here, this is just a Hono application. We get Docker Compose to set up our Postgres. We have the Drizzle config for our ORM. And then in the source folder here inside of Index, you can also see that ORPC has been set up with Hono for the backend. So there we go. That is the magic of better T-Stack. I'm honestly super impressed that this worked first time. Didn't even have to make any code changes. And I had my full application set up with authentication already working. I find this really good for AI prototyping as well. I can get it to scaffold out a project for me. So it handles the hard parts like linking everything together. And then when I go ahead and use Claude code or cursor, it can just get to building me my prototypes. I'm super happy we sponsored this project as honestly keeping up with all of those variations of front end, back end, and all of the integrations seems like super hard work. So that is super impressive. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you been waiting for a tool like this for a while? While you're down there, subscribe, and as always, see you in the next one.